What's up guys, I'm back with another video. This computer here, I've had for quite a while. Um, and I've never made a video on it, I've never done anything with the computer. It's basically just sat in my closet for the past at least two years, and nothing has happened with it. Uh, which is kind of unfortunate, because it is, you know, an interesting computer, and it is boxed. But anyways, I am finally getting to it, so let's get right into it. So, here it is. The box is in pretty good shape. Um, I actually bought this computer local from a guy in Guelph who um, is an Apple collector. And we've traded some stuff, and I've sold him some stuff. And I bought a decent amount of stuff from him. And he gave me a pretty decent deal on this, in my opinion. I can't quite remember what it was, but I think it was 200 200 bucks or $250, somewhere around there. Um, but like, I wasn't going to sell it, like immediately flip it, and he knew that, so. Um, now that being said, I have done that one time with a boxed clamshell. This is the second box clamshell I've ever had. Uh, the first one was a key lime, and I bought it, and I thought I was getting scammed because I bought it from three provinces, provinces away. The guy would only e-transfer, he didn't, want to use PayPal, and then once I paid him, I never heard anything again. I was like, okay, I messaged him, I'm like, have you shipped it? Didn't hear back. I'm like, okay, well, it was a $200 gamble, but it is what it is. Uh, and then two weeks later, big package shows up at my house, and sure enough, it was the boxed Key Lime iBook G3 clamshell that had, he'd wrapped it in paper and the box didn't get damaged or anything, and I thought, hmm, that's pretty neat. Let me... Let me list it on eBay for a price that if it's sold, I would be disappointed because I wouldn't have it anymore, but I wouldn't be, you know, heartbroken that it, that it was gone. Um, and I listed it for, I think, $1,000 Canadian. And I had an offer for $950 or $900 Canadian, and I went, okay. And, like, within a day, it sold. And I was like, great, now I have $1,000 that I can spend on more IMAX and more iBooks, and sure enough, um, I did, but I think I should have kept that uh, key lime looking back, but you know what, it is what it is, I'm sure I'll find another one again one day, so it's not the worst. So this computer here is a 466 megahertz, uh, which is the highest that they came, and up until about five minutes ago, I thought this was a 333 mega, or sorry, 366 megahertz, but uh, it isn't. Uh, so it's got 64 megabytes of RAM, 10 gigabyte hard drive, and of course the DVD drive, which is super nice to have. Um, and this has Ethernet and Firewire. Some of the earlier ones did not have Firewire. Um, so that is a nice feature with this computer because I actually use Firewire a lot. Mostly with the iMac G3s when they have a bad CD drive, I don't even bother fixing them anymore because I'll fix it and it'll work. And then, you know, two years later when I go to use a computer again, it's no longer working and needs to be fixed again. So at this point, I don't even bother. When I need to reinstall a new operating system, just Firewire, use another computer and get it done. So. Uh, push. readjust a little bit as I pinch my finger okay so this is what you get in here I'm pretty sure typically you get you know more stuff than this but this is all that's left <laughs> so you've got your getting started and your user guide um, oh look at that isn't that neat never even saw that before You think, I, you think I can mail it in still? Get my $100 rebate? Get the Microsoft Office for the 2001 Mac. Oh my god. And of course, Apple stickers, which are not for this, I don't think. Uh, the user guides are always interesting to kind of look through. Uh, there's always some sort of interesting stuff in here, like you can tell. Uh, obviously, this computer came with Mac OS 9. The whole user guide is in Mac OS 9. 
um, shows you, how, like, look at this, you know, they, they don't show you how to do this today, um, I mean, I guess because you can't, you can't upgrade your RAM, but I, I really do like how they did that, it, it's so easy to add more RAM, at least the one stick on these, and an airport card, um, and of course they show you, so that the consumer can do it, which was kind of what it was about then. So then in here, I've got the battery. Um, it doesn't hold a charge, or I think it does for like, you know, five minutes. A few years ago, I actually took one of these apart and replaced all the uh, lithium ion cells with new ones, and it did work, but I used like the cheapest eBay ones that I could find, so it sucked, and then I threw it out because I didn't need it. Um, but it was a good test, and I know that now, if I decide to do it again with proper uh, cells, um, I could, in fact, have a nice working battery. But I actually do have a working battery for one of these somewhere. Um, here is the uh, one part of the charger, um, which is in good shape, not all sticky, which is, you know, very, very nice. And then we've got the other part of the charger, the yo-yo part. You can see how it's all wound up in there and how it... Roll, like kind of rolls up in there. I actually much prefer this design to the like MagSafe uh, design, the brick where you gotta like coil it around because then you have nice kink marks on the the power cord. Whereas this, you don't. The only place that it gets worn out is where it goes in right there. But if you just don't unravel it all the way, then it never becomes a problem. Uh, so I kind of wish that they'd stuck with that, but I do understand that that would not have met their kind of design um, anymore. With, you know, the square, more professional looking uh, laptops versus the, you know, colorful, more 90s, early 2000s oriented, like, look at all the fun colors and shapes, which everything was kind of around then. So... I put that back in. Here is the computer itself. So it is in good shape. Um, they all do this. It's very common. But the main points, the drive door is still there. Both Apple pieces are still there. Despite teachers yelling at kids in the early 2000s, this is a handle, but it's not all cracked like they normally are. If I open this up, you can see around the Apple logo there, there's no spider webbing going on. Again, something that they all like to do. And the keyboard is in magnificent shape. Uh, this whole computer is in great shape and I got a very good deal on it. And I do appreciate that. And let's plug it in. Where did I just put my other charger? Here it is. I shouldn't say my other one. One of my, like, eight. So let's plug it in. Now, these computers, when they don't have their batteries in them, they're very, like, tippy almost because there's no weight in the bottom where the battery would normally be to, like, hold it down. So something to keep in mind. I think this has a dead line of pixels in it. It also might be another clamshell that I have. It's hard to keep track when I don't use them, you know, every day. Does it? Mm, I don't see a dead line of pixels. Yep, it does. It's got a dead line of pixels just off to the side there, but it's not very noticeable. Now you can see the, the screen. It's more prominent on the camera. Uh, but the brightness is kind of wonky, as they all kind of do that. But again, it's just a a collector's piece. It's not like I'm going to be using it. So it's not the worst. While this thing boots up, I'll go show the other clamshells that I have. Uh, and in case you haven't watched my last few videos, you can tell that I'm kind of a hoarder for IMAX. Uh, I got two there, three there. One there, that's not a real EMAC, it's just an LCD in there, and I use it as a monitor. An IMAC G3 there. 400 megahertz Tangerine, 400 megahertz Lime, 400 megahertz Blueberry. 
400 megahertz strawberry. This is a 600 megahertz uh, blue Dalmatian. This is 500 megahertz flower power. Got a 450 megahertz sage, 400 megahertz grape, 233 megahertz uh, bondy blue, a 450 megahertz summer 2000 DV plus indigo. And I believe this machine right here is the 700 megahertz snow that I have. Uh, then I have two blueberry clamshells here. You can see both of which do not have firewire. And then I have the uh, a, uh, tangerine. I put clamshell there and the graphite SE, I think is what they called it. Um, graphite there, which had the silvery kind of back uh, of, the, of the monitor. Whereas the later ones don't have that like this one. It's just white, as you can see. So yeah, here's the computer. Oh my goodness, the clock is wrong. What will we ever do? You can see it's running some version of Mac OS 10, probably 10.3 or something. Yeah, 10.3. Um, and there we go, the RAM has been upgraded. It is a 466 megahertz. And that's pretty much it. I hope that you enjoyed this video um, and I hope that you enjoy that I'm kind of using a tripod a little bit now so you don't have to have my Parkinson's you know moving all around and giving you motion sickness um, yeah if anyone else wants me to make any videos on stuff just let me know and I hope that you enjoyed